A North Carolina sexting case is prompting a Wisconsin warning tonight. Even if it's teens messaging each other, it's a crime if it involves sexually explicit material, and that means pictures or videos. And only on News 3 tonight, Matthew Simon learned it can come with life-changing consequences, Matthew. And Michelle, because Wisconsin has no specific sexting laws, teens under 18 could end up being convicted felons. This North Carolina case suddenly sparking conversations in Wisconsin living rooms, shedding light on how our current lack of a state sexting law means teens could be punished just like sexual predators. While 17-year-old North Carolina star quarterback Cormega Copening looked sharp as he started the high school football season. When we went through the phone, we found some nude photos. The consensual pictures the Cumberland County Sheriff's Office says they found between Copening and his girlfriend means he's now not just suspended from the team, he's also facing felony child exploitation and child porn charges. Apparently he and his girlfriend were sexting is what it comes down to, and both of them were under the age of 18. They were 16 at the time. Even if it's consensual, their ages in North Carolina make the act illegal. The reported facts of that case occurred in Wisconsin, the end result could be the same. Without a Wisconsin sexting law on the books, Madison criminal defense attorney David Stiegel says he's seen teen sexting cases growing at nearly the same rate as heroin cases. Some teen clients also facing felony charges for consensual sexting. It can be anything from a period of jail with probation, supervision while that person's in the community, or in cases of a conviction for child pornography, it can result in a prison sentence. Also mandatory fines and having to register as a sex offender, charges and convictions that can often follow a teen for life. Oftentimes, they are aghast at how severe it is. Stiegel says it's time for lawmakers to change or create new laws punishing sexting fairly, instead of teens potentially facing the same consequences as sexual predators. I don't think our existing statutes adequately cover that and oftentimes lead to very, very harsh consequences. And as we said, this is up to what a prosecutor would charge a teen with. For instance, in the North Carolina case, the girlfriend's charges were lowered to a misdemeanor. But in other cases, prosecutors can't ask for the maximum. Under current law, the message tonight, parents really need to involve themselves in their teen's business. Absolutely, because this, like you said, life-changing consequences yeah, they here. They could be a registered sex offender the rest of their lives just for doing it with their boyfriend and girlfriend. Wow. All right. Good information. Thank you, Matthew.